Here we are back at this location that I uh, set up the other day that had the beaver swimming around and coming down in here. The trap is gone from its bed. So I'm gonna prop this up, unwire it and pull it in. I can see the, I can see the beaver out there. So I'll pull them out and see what we got. Get down in here. I just used a grade stake to hold this in place. Um, right now the ground is still really too hard to drive a stake in. It's still frozen, so let's pull this up. Yeah, we got a nice beaver. Nice beaver. Not sure if it's the one that was here swimming the other day, but definitely a nice beaver. So we'll take it. Throw him up on the bank. Put this trap back in place. Like I said, these these Duke 650s are are a great trap. I used them in Kansas. Brought them back here. Didn't have to do any adjustments to them. It's got that click. It's got just the right surface. I used to use TS-85s and there's nothing wrong with them, but I just prefer these. I'd rather have one, one trap for multiple species than to have a bunch of traps for, for uh, beaver and then a bunch for, for coyote trapping. It's so rocky here, I have to find the, just the right spot. There we go. There we go. Took a little bit to get it in there, but then what I do is just wrap it around here. Twist it off. Again, like I said, I don't know if you can see this. I use this here for kind of a guide. It's going to bring the beaver in. Um, set that. Right there. I did remember to bring my piece of popple down with me. So get it wet and it gets it a little bit green. You can take and scrape it up a little bit. The other piece was gone, so I'm guessing another beaver took it, but so there we go. A little bit of... I always try to relure every time I come in, probably don't need it. Um, but This caster that I got made up here is kind of gooey and sticky and tacky, so it sticks. Sticks pretty good. So, she's all set and ready for the, for the next one. 